Okay. 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 Good day, students. I'm here to take you on agri science. My name is Mrs. Sinhe Jimala. Today we are going to discuss the production of a tuba crop. And the tuba crop we are going to discuss is yam. Yam. I'm sure you are all familiar with yam. In Igbo, we call it G. Yes, yam. There are other tuba crops. Cassava is a tuba crop. Kokoyam is a tuba crop. And so on and so forth. But we want to talk about yam. And the botan, sorry. Before you finish this lesson, or at the end of this lesson, you have to know the different varieties of yam. There are different types. They are not all the same. Then you tell us what we use yam for. What do we use yam for? How do you produce yam? And so on. How you store yam and so on. So we are starting. Yam is a root and tuba crop. Root and tuba crop. When we say tuba crop, what comes to your mind? It is rich in carbohydrates. It stores its food on the ground, inside the ground. That's where you see the food aspect of it. What is necessary, what you need in it, is hidden inside the ground. And yam, there are different types of yam. We have the white yam. The white yam. The name is Dioscoria rotundata. Dioscoria rotundata. So you can go to the market where they are selling yam and tell them you want Dioscoria rotundata. They'll be looking at you. So what is this Americana talking? You are telling them that you want you white yam. Dioscoria rotundata. Then we have the yellow yam. The name, I'm sure you have seen that yellow yam. It's called Dioscoria sinensis. Remember, botanical name again. The first letter, the first word, the first letter is capita. The second letter, the first letter is small letter. Then you underline. In some textbooks, they are not underlined because they are written in italics. But since you are not writing in italics, you are writing with your handwriting, you must underline. If you write, you don't underline, it's wrong. If you write two of them, and then capital, capital, it's wrong. If you write two of them, small, small, it's wrong. So the first word, capital, the second word, small letter. Take note. Take note. Okay. So white yam, that is Korea Rotundata. Yellow yam, the Escoria sinensis. Then we have another type of yam. We call it the trifolet or three leaf yam. This one is not very common. Trifolet or three leaf yam. The one we call orna in Igbo language. Orna. We call it orna. Yes. It's not very common. You cook it overnight and then eat it with uh, fresh oil and pepper. It's very sweet. Okay. That one is called Dioscoria dumintorum. Dioscoria dumintorum. Three leaf yam. Dioscoria dumintorum. Then we have another species. The water yam, the one you use for ekpa, you grate it and use it for ekpa koko. That one is called Dioscoria alata. Dioscoria alata, ekpa, 
you use it for ikpagoko. Then we have the Chinese yam. It's called Dioscoria esculenta. Dioscoria esculenta. Then we have the aerial yam. Aerial yam. Dioscoria bolifera. Bolifera. These are different species of yam. But generally, yam is known as Dioscoria species. Dioscoria species. So once you say Dioscoria species, it is it has no specific variety. You are referring to yam in general. And when you say Dioscoria species, you don't underline. Once you use the word species, you are talking about yam in general. I hope we can proceed. The different varieties of yam. Okay. Like I said in the last lesson, when you are talking about production of any crop, the most important thing you talk about in under climatic requirements is rainfall and temperature. Rainfall and temperature. Different crops need different temperature, different amount of rainfall. So in yam, Yam needs a temperature of about 25 to 30 degree centigrade. So it doesn't need temperature that is too high. Between 25 to 30. So 26 is okay. 27, 28. Between this and this. Since yam is a root crop. It needs deep, deep, well-drained loamy soil. Deep, well-drained loamy soil. Remember, we say loamy soil because of the high organic matter it contains. Yes. It needs a rainfall of about 100 to 180 cm of rainfall per annum. A year throughout the growing season. At, it needs ample of sunshine, sunshine. You know the importance of sunshine for photosynthesis. Okay. Land preparation. Land preparation. When you want to prepare the place where you plant here, you clear the bush with your cutlass, as we said, with your hoe, manually, your hand. You can also use machine, mechanica. Yes. So you can plant yam on the ridge, or you can make mound and plant it. Before you plant, make ridge or mound, you must plow, plowing, harrowing, and making of ridges or mound. Yes, propagation. Remember when we were discussing maize, we say maize we plant by seed. But in yam, you don't plant seed of yam. You propagate yam by using small yam. We call it seed yam. Or you cut. Cut it in pieces, depending on the farmer. Some farmers are rich. They plant a whole tuba. But not the very big tuba as the type they cook for you in the kitchen. No. So small ones, they cut it or they can plant the small, small seeds in the ground. Okay. Assuming you cut it. Assuming you cut the yam. After cutting it, you put the side you cut up and then you dry it in the sun so that the water that comes out of it will dry. And that will help uh, rodents not to eat it. You dry it and it will make it to dry when you put it in the ground. You dry it. Some people will rub 
chemicals on top so that when these small animals perceive the odor, they will run away, they will not eat it. Planting dates, when do you plant yam? Between October and December. That's the early yam. Between October and uh, December. In fact, that early yam, if you go to the market, it's because of this COVID. People don't travel out. They have started harvesting new yam now. All over. Because they plant earlier. So they harvest earlier. And then we have the late yam. That you can plant later in the year. How do you plant? You open the ground, make a hole, or on the mound, and put the uh, yam inside it. The side you cut will be showing upwards. You don't put it upside down. And then you plant it sideways. You plant, you put it slightly slanting. You don't put direct. Slanting. There is something you see at the body of the yam that we call the pod. It is from that pod that the chain drain will start growing out. So you put it by the side, slanting, and then cover it. Remember, I said when you cut it, you have to apply some chemicals, something like adrenaline dust, the chemical. You rub it on the surface so that rodents cannot eat the yam you have planted. Then where you plant, you weed as much as possible. You weed. You know the importance of weeding and the effect of weeds on the farm. Then you put a stick, what we call staking. In other crops, you don't stake. You put a stick to support it. You can use the stick of maize. After cutting your maize, that stick, you can use it to support the maize. So that the maize, um, sorry, to support the yam. So that when the yam is growing, the vine will be growing round that stick. Or some use bamboo sticks to support it. Okay, in the yam, the vines are twisted round the sticks. In anti-clockwise direction. But in Domentorum, the species we call Domentorum, you twist the twine in a clockwise direction. In a clockwise direction. And then they'll be going round, growing round the stick and growing up, up towards the sky so as to get enough sunshine for photosynthesis. Okay. Yam matures between 8 to 12 months after planting. 8 to 12 months after planting. Between 8 to 12 months after planting. How do you know when to harvest yam? Harvesting is done when one or two leaves turn yellow. You notice that leaves of the yam have started changing to yellow. Then the soil where you plant the yam starts aching, breaking, open, cracking. Then you know it's ready. Then you harvest the yam. You dig it out using cutlass, hoe, or stick to remove the tuber. From the ground. Processing. How do you process yam? You can slice the yam. If you peel the bag, you slice it and dry it. If you want to eat it fresh, you eat it like that. You can slice it, dry it, and pack it in the bag. Then you can also store yam in the barn. 
you go to the village, it's very common. You see them, they tie yam in the bag. Very nice. And then use palm frond leaves to cover it, give it shade so that the sun will not hit it directly. Some people will peel it, dry it, and then grind it into flour and use them to bake things. You can boil yam and pound it and eat it like fufu with soup. We can use the flour to make cake. You can roast yam. Then the peels, when you peel the yam, the back of yam, we use it in feeding our live stock. So man gain from yam, animals as well gain from yam. So that's the end of yam. So some of you think we pluck yam the way we pluck mango. No. You plant it in the ground and then we dig it out from the ground. You see the type of work farmers do. It's very interesting. So that is it. It's a tuber crop. Okay. So I would like you to do this, the following assignment. Write the botanical names of these varieties of yam. White yam. Three leaf yam. That's try. Try four let. And then the white yam. Write their botanical names. Then what are the uses of yam? What are the uses of yam? Okay. And that is the end of our lesson. Thank you. Read your books. Be busy with yourself. And then you wait for the exams. That is coming up very soon. Very soon. The timetable will be out. And you start with the exams. Thank you.